Hello, Mary. Salutations, everyone. Squiddy here, bringing you week eight. Yeah, eight. Week eight of the YCL. This week we are facing off against Sven Thun and his Gothenburg Svillers. Uh, I actually made a mistake there. Sven is not 5 and 2, he's 7 and 0. Oh. He hasn't lost this season yet. <laughs> it's looking scary, guys. Not gonna lie. But we do hope to be the first to defeat Sven. So let's see if we can do this. Pretty much a win here this week will grant us playoffs for sure. So we're really hoping that we clinch the clinch the win so we can secure our run before the last season, the, the last week. And let's see what he has in store for us. So this is the duel, guys. This is Chin Pao versus Chin Pao. This is Sword versus Sword. This is uh, Kitty Cat versus Kitty Cat. Uh, but the thing is that he has other problematic mods on his team. Uh, specifically, that Spy Ops. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, Skeletorch is a huge problem, and Pomet. Offensive Pomet against me just wrecks me, and I really don't know what I'm going to do against that Pomet. Basically, I had to do some team builder changes specifically so that I could not uh, get 6 out by Pomat. So let's see what he brought, what we brought. We'll start off with uh, Chen Pao. Uh, I wouldn't shy away from the, the mirror match between Chen Pao's here. And uh, we are running Adamant. I basically don't care about outspeeding max speed. Uh, basically, we'll, we'll try to outspeed by Sucker Punching and hope that it's enough. So we have Throat Shop, Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch and Sacred Sword. And we have Metronome. In case you don't know what Metronome does, it basically boosts the, the power of attacking moves each time you press a move consecutively. So the idea is that I will uh, click something like Ice Spinner on the, the Skeletorch that has already Terret and basically Ice Spinner will continuously do more damage so he can't heal off uh, the damage I do freely. Next we're bringing the other Mirror Match Mon, the Spy Ops, uh, because first impression against Chen Pao is really good if he doesn't pack uh, Protect, he might have Protect specifically if for the spider ups but we'll see if that uh, <laughs> uh, how that goes during the match. We have adamant max uh, attack, and we are the the expert belt to maximize our damage output. So next we have our first uh, anti pomod uh, countermeasure. We're bringing shuffle on the cycles are so that we don't potentially get one hit KO'd. We still might though, <laughs> it's probably uh, it's probably gonna happen still, because um, I'm not bringing much bulk on the Cycles Art this week. As you can see, I'm uh, running special Cycles Art, because I feel like his team will be more vulnerable to special attacks, and I basically wanted to stop the Earthworm from setting up Shad Tails freely. And that's basically it. Next we have the Tinkerton with the Citrus Berry. This is our primary Chen Pao check. And with the Citrus Berry that means that we can uh, probably leave two hits from it. Uh, we have knockoff to knock uh, items from his team. We have Gig Gigaton Hammer to just straight up murder the Chen Pao if he stays in. And Stealth Rock because hazards are nice, basically. Next we have the Kilowatt Rule. Kilowatt Rule is the other mon that's here checking the Chen Pao. Uh, it's not Fairy Steel, guys. It's actually Electric Flying. I just forgot to change that. And we have U-Turn, Air Slash. Air Slash has the only attacking move because it's probably the only attacking move that I'll need during the match. And we have Thunder Wave. I don't know if I'll click Thunder Wave, but... Uh, it might be nice to slow down some things that 
might be annoying otherwise. Uh, I'm thinking like in case Chin Pao just straight up comes in, but I don't know why he would that, so it's probably not gonna work, but we still have it though. Last but not least, we have the Glamora, uh, and we have Ghost Glamora for a specific reason. His removal is Toad Screw, and so if we are Ghost, he can't Rapid Spin the Hazards away, and that way we remove the ground weakness from Glamora at the same time that we're uh, spin blocking him. And this is basically the idea behind the, the Glamora set, where uh, actually max defense and not max attack there, and Earth Power, Terra Blast, Terra Ghost basically should cover his team pretty well. And Mortal Spin in case he goes for hazards himself and we want to remove those. So this is the team guys, I'll see you right now. It's gonna be great! I'm gonna lose! It's gonna be great! <laughs> Oh well, ah, Sven, Sven, Sven. <laughs> Guys, when, when you battle, <laughs> when you look at your opponent and your opponent is Sven and he didn't bring Pomet. <laughs> he didn't bring Pomet. Wow. Wow! I'm... Uh, wow! And he didn't bring... Toad Screw. That's good. If I set up Hazards, they're not gonna stay because he has Graphite to absorb the T-Spikes. And... okay. <laughs> For a moment there, I was worried he would not get his mods in. But looks like he did, so... Good luck happen to Sven, but you're probably gonna beat me, so... Um, what's going to be the, the battle thing? Okay, it's Cassiopeia. It's awesome. Okay, so... Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's this thing gonna do? I don't want to Earth Power it first. Okay, so Sludge Wave will do around what I need, so that's what I'm gonna click. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. My god. Forgot this thing had a gra uh, ground move. Oh my god. I'm so dumb. Now, uh, if that was a 4 times move, then I should be able to resist whatever he throws at me next. So I'm just gonna Terra and just Earth Power now. And he's squishy, because that dealt way more than I expected. Ah, but letting Cloth High Horse Power me was not the play at all, guys. Was, it was not the play at all. Oh my god, did he read me? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and now, and now they think he's gonna activate because of the poison. And he's gonna be sped up. Wait, he didn't get sped up. That's nice. Means I can go into this thing. Okay, um. Okay, I'm gonna throw a shot. Yeah, he just lets this thing go down. But why did I let. Glumar be high horse powered, guys. Ah, oh, god, I'm still bumping myself over that. Okay, this thing is Chase Scarf. Uh, so, I'm gonna go into this. I'm 
That was not the play at all. Because he's going to click fighting mode. Oh my god, I'm playing so bad. Uh, good thing he didn't then. He's gonna go Skeldurge. Yeah, if he goes Skeldurge, he can probably go Skeldurge here. And there's basically no downside to that play. Yeah, oh god, how do I deal with this? Uh, Rocky Helmet, okay. That's some info. Uh, did he click the move? Yeah, he clicked the move. Now, do I just air slash or thunder wave and basically hope that he gets parried? Because I'm not sure, guys. I'm really not sure about this one. I'm gonna air slash? What does he get into? Uh, that's electric. Oh my god, this is gonna go so bad. Okay. How do I do this? I, I, I... I basically have no way around this now, right? I'm gonna hyper voice here. And just see what he does. Okay, that's some pretty good damage. Okay, I still resist it. Um, now, the question here is, do I deal more damage with... Torch Song, uh, with Hyper Voice, or with Overheat? Hyper Voice, actually. So... Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Please KO. Oh my god, it doesn't. Oh god. How much does... Chimpal do? Trying to find a way out of this, guys, but it's not working out! Can you... If I just keep going... Uh, that's three of them... God, I wish I was metronome on this instead. Or Throat Spray. Throat Spray would actually be amazing as well. Now he can KO me. I think I can get out of this. This is gonna be a, uh, be a clean sweep from him. Yeah, he's just slacked off. I should have read that and went for a circle throw. Ah, that would have been amazing. 
Yeah. I'll sack this. But now he basically has no way... He has no... Drawback from going... Torch Song into Torch Song into Torch Song into Torch Song and whatever. Because I let him boost so much. Or I could have to uh, throat shot as well. Uh, I mean, he should have another attacking move, but nonetheless, I'm just gonna click throat shot and see what happens. Yeah. Ah, uh, GG's. I played so bad. I played so bad there. Oh my god. That... Yeah, that's totally on me. Guys, I, I'm awful. I, I'm just terrible. Just terrible. Um, mistakes from start to finish. Uh, this is totally on me. So, GG's to Sven. He definitely got the better out of me. And this is basically... <laughs> God, I played so bad. I'm bashing myself so much right now. Oh, but anyways... Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Squid, jetting out!